Hello and welcome everyone. So if you guys are familiar, I've been building uh, AI rigs and uh, one of the most popular AI rig that you can build is with two NVIDIA 3090 GPUs. And I've been getting a lot of questions around that, that, hey, is it possible? Can you make a video on building a, a dual NVIDIA 3090 rig? So you know what? Uh, this weekend, I got hold of two more 3090s. So uh, if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I have a quad NVIDIA 3090 set up in my basement. So there is a AI server with four NVIDIA 3090s. And that's like a perfectly optimized server because it comes with X399 and it also has a CPU that can support uh, 64 lanes, PCI lanes over here. But if you want to build something that is good enough, right, and it won't break your bank, then this is a kind of setup that you are looking for. What is in this setup? So. The biggest thing that you have in the setup is two NVIDIA 3090 GPUs. Now you think that, hey, the cost of these GPUs are high. So how is it cost effective? I mean, yes, I agree. These are not cheap GPUs. However, they are still good enough GPUs for the price that they are available in the market right now. So if you go to the used market, um, you can find a very decent price for 3090 GPUs uh, as compared to what uh, 4090s are going for or some other expensive GPUs, you know, um, if, if, you, if you're looking for more AI inference based GPUs, they are going for. So I would recommend, you know, if you are looking for an effective yet powerful AI inference system, go with 3090s at this time because the cost of two 3090s, you can have you know, um, for the cost of 14090, you can have two 3090s. So I would definitely recommend getting two 3090s. I got them pretty cheap, um, but you know, keep an eye out on your Facebook marketplace. Sometimes people are still getting rid of these GPUs and you can get hold of them cheap too. All right, second. I chose to reuse and repurpose an existing CPU that I already had. And the one that I had at hand was i9-9900K. So that is a very good GPU. It is decent enough GPU to support two NVIDIA graphics cards over here. So will it have a 16 times two 32 um, PCI lanes? No, it won't, but it is decent enough for, you know, uh, I think it has 20 or 18 or, or 20 PCI lanes, which is good enough for our setup over here. So even if we get X8 on both, then, then we'll be fine. Um, this motherboard is uh, an MSI motherboard, if I'm not wrong. It is a Aorus, Aorus motherboard, I think. So gigabyte, sorry, not MSI. And it is a X390. Uh, so that, that motherboard is a very decent motherboard. It has reinforced, steel reinforced PCI slots and I really like them. Um, but this was just a leftover components that I had, but it in reality makes for a perfect build for us. So um, I also have DDR4, 32 gigs of RAM in this. So two sticks of 16 each. And uh, that's that's plenty RAM for an uh, AI rig. Even 16 gigs of RAM is enough. 32 gigs is, uh, is, is just what I had, you know, laying around. And I'll be, you know, uh, setting this up using my main machine over there. So what I'll do is, so I have this uh, Elgato capture card over here, uh, HD60S Plus. Oh, let me turn it around like this. Okay. And this capture card is uh, going to capture all the video from this rig and transmit it to my uh, actual setup over there on, on, on the other side. You cannot see that. So uh, whatever output from this rig uh, I'll be getting, I'll be recording on my main machine and I'll be showing that to you. But in a very quick way, this is a NVIDIA 3090 dual 3090 setup and it is one of the most requested videos so all of my friends colleagues everyone wanted to see this 
hence I'm gonna make a video on this one so uh, next step would be the next video that I'll do uh, would be setting this up with uh, either Proxmox or Ubuntu server I haven't decided which one I want to go with um, I did the Ubuntu server in the previous video so I may go ahead with Proxmox and then install Ubuntu server on it I do like sometimes you know like bare metal um, OS running directly on the hardware so I may go with the direct Ubuntu server over here too oh yeah I forgot so there is a, a two terabyte SN770 I think I have a box over here let me double check so I have a two terabyte of SN770, which is, you know, pretty good for this particular uh, setup over here. So 5150, which is very good. And uh, I, I believe that that's about it. In terms of power supply, yeah, that's an important component. So for power supply, I have 1200 watts of um, the PSU over here, power supply unit over here. And 1200 watts is, you know, good number and I'll tell you my reasoning so 350 watts for each GPU 700 and this CPU can go up to I think 95 watts so uh, I'll double check but I think it's close to 100 so 800 and then RAM motherboard other components combined let's say uh, 10 uh, sorry 50 more watts so 850 900 and I'm thinking about overclocking the GPUs on this so the, the basement rig that I have has been uh, underpowered because I've capped the power to 270 watts for that quad setup I have 1600 watts of PSU over there now for this setup I'll be going the other way around so I'll be overclocking these GPUs so that may require more power I'm not sure maybe it's fine to have 350 for that but I will look into it on what the performance comparison is between uh, the 270 watt uh, versus the 350 watt overclocked GPUs. All right, so this is it. This is the just the introductory video of what the rig looks like. It is perfectly fitting in this uh, enclosure over here. Uh, I think I'll, I'll actually post the name of this uh, this enclosure. Uh, this is an, an absolutely gorgeous case that I that I like. Uh, I mean, it it has enough space, you know, to have two NVIDIA 3090s in it and and still it got a ton of different you know airflow related uh, space in here so there are fans two fans in the front there is a fan in the back over there and something that you cannot see there is a layer below it that has a lot of fans underneath there too so there are two small fans in the back in a layer underneath it too so it is pretty 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 decent setup um, and I'm, I'm gonna show you how it looks like when I shut it so just a second there's the top to it and when i shut the rig it looks absolutely gorgeous just stays in the corner does nothing is it the quietest machine i think most of the noise that i hear is from the front fans over here uh, and I'm running the Memtest 86 right now, so the the, the RAM modules that are in there that are uh, running, the, so, so the CPU is kind of working hard and crunching numbers over here for Memtest 86. Uh, but once the test is finished, I'm pretty sure these fans will cool down a little bit and they'll bump up only during the the inference. I don't know how much of the fans is being caught over here, but... Uh, the, the sound is, is decent like my water cooled rig uh, on the other side my actual machine that has a that also has a nvidia 3090 custom water loop uh, that one is is silent makes no sound at all but this one is uh is tad bit uh noisy right now but eventually uh, this would also go in the basement once I've done building it. I may put it on vast.ai. I may use it the way it is uh, But I do not need six GPUs at least not right now So four GPUs in the basement either that one or two GPUs in my office 
it's either one of those two. I do not need six GPUs for sure. So one of these rigs are going to be on the Vastat AI. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. And in the next video, I'll be getting on to my main machine and we'll be installing either Proxmox or Ubuntu server on this machine. And you'll be seeing everything because the Elgato capture card will be taking the video that's coming out of here and outputting it into my main machine. Thank you.